Hello, I'm Cheyenne Mandagarian, an SC here at Jitterbit. Today, I'll take you through a demo of Harmony EDI, our new cloud-based self-service EDI offering on our Harmony platform. We'll start off with an overview of how to manage trading partners, how to set up your workflows with them, and which communication and customization options you'll have available. Then, we'll see the platform in action, where we'll ingest an inbound 850 order document into Harmony EDI and then utilize a Cloud Studio workflow to turn that document into a sales order in our ERP NetSuite. Finally, we'll also see an example of an outbound 810 invoice document that we'll generate using a NetSuite search activity. Let's get into it. Here I am on the Harmony landing page where I can find a new EDI tile as well as the Cloud Studio tile, which will come into play in tandem with Harmony EDI. Clicking into the EDI tile brings me here to the Trading Partners page, where I can select a trading partner from our list of hundreds of existing trading partners. I'll be using Fastenal for our demo today. Now, once I've selected my trading partner, then I can manage my in and outbound document workflows, manage PII, custom EDI settings, and set up my communication settings. We'll start with communication. That's how you'll establish your mode of pushing and pulling documents with the, that trading partner. We support FTP and AS2 as well as VAN connectivity. Here I'll show you my FTP settings, which is pretty similar to what you do in Cloud Studio, where you plug in your user credentials, you set up your settings like where the host is, which port you want to use, any additional security settings, uh, as you can see on screen here and then also which folders will hold your inbound versus your outbound documents and automation, which is essentially how often you want to pull for those new documents. And now I can move on to creating my workflows with my trading partner, where I can choose from our existing list of various inbound and outbound document types and their associated field mappings. I can toggle various options, including test mode, which would allow me to verify the logic of my workflow without actually sending documents to my partners. And by the way, if you're looking for a specific document or map that we may not already have, we can very easily add that to the list on your behalf, just based on your trading partner's implementation guide. So there, I already had a, an existing inbound order workflow, and I just went ahead and added a new outbound workflow with the invoice document type. So I selected my 810 from the map dropdown there. Now from here, uh, I have the option to turn on uh, PII purging, which I can show you here. Uh, you have the option to delete documents manually, which may have sensitive data, or like I said, you could set them to purge automatically. And I can also adjust any of the EDI settings that I need to, including the partner ID and ISA ID. If I click through here, you can also see just how many tabs there are here of various options. Uh, but I also wanted to point out that in the advanced settings here, you have the option to toggle automatically sending your 997s, which are uh, essentially functional acknowledgement documents. Okay, now let's move on to the transactions page where you actually will see all of your various documents flowing to and from your trading partners. Now, obviously on the screen, as you can see, you have lots of searching and date sorting and just filtering options, uh, which will come in handy if you have lots of different types of documents, lots of different trading partners. Um, you can sort by any of these columns. Uh, but once you find a document that you may want to dig into, like this 850 order I have from my trading partner here, Fastenal, I can click on this little link here, which will open up this uh, order document in an actual human readable format. So for example, on this document, I can very easily see uh, information about the buyer, the seller, shipping information, items involved. Uh, for example, I can see uh, my items listed there at the bottom of the screen uh, by quantity, list price, total amount. Uh, obviously, this is kind of simple information for the sake of our little demo here, uh, but now, if you've ever seen a raw EDI document, you know it's nothing like this, but we've uh, created this user-friendly uh, interface where if I need to, I can, in fact, open up the raw EDI format, as you can see right here. Um, or you can also see the XML translated version, which is essentially how we take that EDI document and make it human readable like you're seeing here. Um, but I can also, in addition to the document itself, 
see any of the messages that are associated with that document, essentially the logs for that document. When things happened, if there's any errors, I can see those. Um, I can also uh, set a document to be checked to be reprocessed, which essentially just means we'll take this document, put it back on top of the queue uh, that it needs to be reprocessed. So if I had an error along the way, I can select any of these documents that I want to reprocess or to resend the acknowledgement back to my trading partner. Now, when I refer to processing or reprocessing any of these documents, it refers to using Cloud Studio in order to take that document and use it as one of my endpoints for an integration workflow in Cloud Studio. So let's see an example of that. I have just received a new order document, an 850 document from my trading partner Fastenal. I want to take the contents of that 850 and turn it into a sales order in my ERP NetSuite. So here in one of my Cloud Studio projects, you can see I'm using the EDI connector as well as the NetSuite connector. Um, so the idea of the flow you're seeing on screen now is I can take one of those 850 documents, like one that I just received um, or that I've checked to be reprocessed. I can ingest that from Harmony EDI and send it to NetSuite to create uh, a sales order. And once I've done that, uh, I've actually updated the status of my document here in Harmony EDI. Uh, so in this case, the way I've decided to update my status is to include the ID from NetSuite. And you can see that shows up in the messages as well. The ID of the sales order that was created in NetSuite. So if I need to, I can look that up. Um, so let's look up that sales order now. I just paste it into the search bar of NetSuite here. We see it pulls up the sales order with the, you know, the customers corresponding to my trading partner. We see that same uh, total amount, that same line item, that same quantity. A little behind the scenes of how I built this flow using the new EDI connector is just like any of our other connectors, there's a wizard behind the scenes for this get document activity where you saw I chose my trading partner, which corresponds to what we saw at the very beginning of the video where I set up my trading partners. Then uh, based on the workflows I set up for that trading partner, I have various documents I can get. Now, because this would be a get, it's only inbound order from the two that I'd set up earlier. And then once I select that document, this is where the field mappings for that document come in, where as you can see, I'm scrolling down here. There's lots and lots of fields that are available to me to map uh, in the transformation engine. Now, in terms of how I interact with NetSuite or any other target system I may have, how I do the field mappings from the EDI document into the sales order object, those are things you can learn about uh, from the other videos and trainings uh, on our website. So please feel free to check those out. Last thing I wanted to show you is sending a document to a trading partner. So I have information in NetSuite that I could run a search on. So I'm in this case, I'm running a search on my invoices in NetSuite. I take whatever I get out of NetSuite and I can generate a document. So in this case, I ran my Cloud Studio Flow, which generated this 810 invoice that you're seeing on screen now. And this will automatically get sent to my trading partner. To learn more about Harmony EDI, please check out our documentation site, Success Central, where you can find a whole section about EDI, where you can dig further into all of the topics that we talked about today, as well as really any other technical information on the Harmony platform. All right, that does it for today's quick demo of Harmony EDI. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, to find our contact information and just to learn more about the Harmony platform, please find us at jitterbit.com. We're looking forward to speaking with you.